Good morning. Today we're doing a food tour of Australia. I have the kangaroo skewers. We're gonna try some surprising delicious meats. Mm. Oh my. Hell yeah. What is Australian for beef? Beef? <laughs> this is all I've ever wanted. Come eat with us. Let your palates savor what we're eating online. We're in Melbourne, Australia, which is a melting pot of cultures. There's a ton of amazing food here. I, I know that they barbecue, they've got shrimp, they've got Barbies. Australia is a former colony of the UK and British food is pretty terrible, so maybe it's like terrible British convict food. Today we're going to a very trendy barbecue and meat restaurant. Beef is, and, and meat in general is, is, a, is really, really popular in Australia. We're so close to Asia, right? It, we've got that proximity to a massive region with all different types of influences. It, you can put beef in anything and it's going to be nice in one way or another, right? What sort of meats are unique to Australia? Kangaroo, which we are trying today. Mm. First we're going to try a popular local street food called a meat pie. We're actually going to a place called Keith's Meat Pies. That's awesome. Do, are we going to meet another Keith? I'm Michelle. I'm Mel. And we're from Keith's Pies. So neither of you are named Keith? No. Okay. Some call me Keith though. Who, who's Keith? Keith was um, son of the first owner. Is he dead? <laughs> then there's only one Keith that reigns supreme. What is a meat pie? It's meat encased in pastry. Well, we make chicken pies and veggie pies and beef mince, which you guys call a ground beef. That's probably the most popular pie. So it's like like a pie, but instead in, of... Instead of eating it out of a, a pot or a bowl, you hold it in your hand. Oh, it's a tiny pie. Oh, it's a little bit of a tiny pie. Oh, you've only got tiny hands. <laughs> well... Yeah, I mean, our hands are, I, I'd like to think, moderately sized, but... Well, it, this is very exciting, obviously, because I am Keith. And not only am I named Keith, but I have an unhealthy obsession with my own name as Keith. So to be here at Keith's Pies, I can't help but feel like I'm finally home. Keith's asking, do you need another employee? Because he thinks he might need to, to stay here to, to really represent Keith's Pies. That sounds like a plan. So talk to me about the preparation. What goes into making a meat pie? We get the meat, brown it off, season it, add water to it, bring it to the boil. In the meantime, we're making the pastry and do a different bottom paste. Now, nah, what do we do here? Is it a conveyor belt? We stick our hands into it? Yeah, they put your hands in it. Okay. <laughs> Flatten right out like a cartoon, then roll it back and they'll be just fine normal. They put a bit of flour on it. Okay. A little stick. A little flour, flour. If only I could get skinny that easily. <laughs> Join the club. Uh, meat pies are very popular at the Australian footy games. When you go to football, it's like when you have a hamburger or a hot dog. Mm -hmm. It's the same, same deal. So you have a hot dog, we have a pie. So we just roll it up? Yep. So we're just making like a giant hot dog? Grab the whole bit of side. Uh -huh. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, this is amazing. Okay, now I assume I, I put this on this. Yep. A little bit further back. Okay, a little bit further back. Now this is sort of my audition. Yeah, but don't let it roll in. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not rolling it, Keith. Dad of Keith. So what makes a good meat pie? Uh, no. <laughs> Milk? No. Oh, milk. milk. <laughs> Whoa, this is wild. So you wadded up a little dough. The price is right. There's this game where you punch in. There's like money in some of them. Do you ever think about putting money in the pies, Mr. Keith? Um, Papa no. Keith? Big Daddy Keith. Big Daddy Keith. Okay. Why am I never stay down? Stay down. Oh, now I'm tearing them. Oh, Gee, yours look great. You Thank you. Okay. Let's push, you gotta push. You strength, yeah. you gotta have some strength. Okay, something. well that's not fair, because some of us don't have that. Oh, sorry. Okay, well let's get some meat. Okay. Let's fill this stuff with our meat. That's a problem. That's a problem. I'll get it, Daddy Keith. So your name oh, is in the not bucket? Daddy Keith, is it? No, it's Mel. It's Mel. Are these them, Daddy? He's got, he's got daddy issues. Daddy! Uh, he certainly does have daddy, daddy Keith, issues. Daddy Keith, is this what we want? Yeah, that's it. I've got the meat buckets, Daddy Keith. Oh. Wow, look at that, it's a bunch of beef. It's a bucket of beef. Bucket of beef, beef, 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 beef. Bucket of beef, beef in the pie. Bucket of pie to your friends. Bucket of friends, very happy. Bucket of beef, how the song ends. All right, let's fill these up with beef. Oh, wow, Daddy Keith. Wow. 
That is so satisfying. This is hysterical. This li li it's literally like slime videos. Stop him! Oh, Daddy Keith. Gotta get it in the middle. I didn't mean to, Daddy Keith. You're doing all right. No, okay. thank you. I think you've done this before. Keep oh yeah, I, I really love filling. Things with my meat. Okay, Eugene, come on. <laughs> so you talked about like the tiger curry one. I imagine that's more of a modern meat pie. Or? Do you have Thai food in America? Hell yeah. Yeah, what's a Thai green curry? What other international influences came in to help make modern meat pies what they are now? Indian food, Mexican, or we do a cheeseburger pie after you guys. Our culture is finally uh, shining through. Uh -huh. so, Whoa! Oh. Holy cow! Look at, oh my God, Daddy Keith, do you see? <laughs> mm. Egg wash, wash them pies. Right, so it's that egg wash. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wash them pies. You gotta make them nice and golden and crispy in the thighs. That's this how I like my pies. Has this ever happened in this kitchen? No. So you put a little hole in the top. Wait, Mel, you have to sing while you do it. Yeah. Uh, we put the hole in the top at Keith's pies. Ha. Pies. Pies. Oh yeah! The hole in the top. Yes. yes. Pies. Now. Pies. Yes. He's got it. Yeah. Yes. Hole in the top of Keith's pies. Keith's pies. Keith's pies. Keith's pies. Hole in the top of Keith's pies. Keith's pies. Keith's pies. Hole in the top of Keith's pies. Keith's pies. Keith's pies. Hole in the top of Keith's pies. Keith's pies. Now we turn on the gas. <laughs> Well, I think maybe we'll just get rid of the pies and we'll start a, a, a trio. Of <laughs> I think we can maybe make this a musical pie shop and it will be world renowned. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a good time. Yeah, great job, Keith. Hey, nice work. I think, uh, I, think you I think you really earned a spot here. Really put the Keith back in Keith's pies. I sure did. <laughs> it's baking, it's baking. The pies are done. Pies. Wow, they look beautiful. Look at them. Oh my gosh. And the holes you stabbed in the top. Mwah. All right, so we're gonna try the plain steak pie Ooh. first. Is this made by Keith? Yeah, this is one of Keith's pies. I'm not afraid to put a little bit of Keith in my mouth. Let's do this. Thank oh. you. Wow. So we just bite right in on the side. Bite right in, turn it around. Keith. Keith. Mmm. Mm. Oh, oh, heck wow. yeah. Oh, no, yeah. It is the mm. gooeyest, ooeyest, and wow. I'm into it. It's so savory. Oh, the ketchup on it is really good. Is it? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I wouldn't think it would. I know, but it's good. The greatest invention. Wow. wow. That's so much easier than our ketchup packets. Mm, that is really good with ketchup. It's just a little bit of sweetness, right? Mm -hmm. To balance the savory. It's interesting it's, because we thought this was so foreign to us and really I feel like I'm holding a hamburger. Uh, mm. yeah. yeah. With a sloppy joe pie. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna like this. I like it even more than I expected. Mm -hmm. Next pie! Next pie! Yeah, that's good. And this is a chunky steak. It's the same sort of flavor that you just had, but it's got um, diced beef in it. Yeah. We're upgrading from ground beef to diced beef. Chunky steak pie? Chunky steak, yeah. Chunky steak. Let's chunky get our steak. chunk on. Mmm. Mmm, chunky. Chunk donk. All right. Mmm. I like this one even better. I think I do mm. too. It's almost more like a short rib in this one. I would say the first one's like a sloppy joe. This is more like a dashing Dan. This is the pan pie you take home to mama. <laughs> but the original, you take home to bed. Whoa, I wouldn't eat this in bed. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it's a, you know. Oh, you have sex with it. Veggie pie. Veggie pie. Vegetable Ooh. pie. Now, what, what veggies are we talking in here? Uh, roast potato, capsicum, sweet potato. Mm, you can't have onions, it. Onions, garlic. Capsicum is mm, bell pepper. Capsicum. Oh, bell pepper, yeah. Yeah, that's that's no, no, no go for me. He can't eat bell pepper. It makes his stomach die. <laughs> so we shall taste on behalf of Zach. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Is this oh. like a... Curry flavor? Yeah. yeah. Tomato curry. Wow, I love it. Kind of feel like you're Wow, I love it. Like oh, it's, it's so good. Rubbing Zach. it in. Oh, I, it's, it's so, so good. good. I think this is a bigger reaction than I've ever seen. You exactly. Get exactly. You especially would love it because you love veggies. curry and I vegetables. I love curry. I love vegetables. Mm -hmm. It's like you took a samosa mm -hmm. and then you married it to a curry dish. Mm -hmm. and you I stuck love it in samosas. Wow, this is my favorite one so far. I can't believe how delicious it is. <laughs> <laughs> 
You guys remember the first pie was really good. You remember how good that was? You know me. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna go have mm. another bite of that one. I'm gonna eat this whole pie. And again, this is like a classic example of the of, of Asian flavor infusion mm -hmm. that's very prominent here in Australia. So yeah. cracked pepper. So it's a diced beef oh. with lots of pepper in it. You got like pepper. Cracked pepper pie with diced beef. Wow. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, that's very peppery. Mm -hmm. Oh my. I wow. love pepper. Oh, wow. And this is just full on pepper flavor. Cheyenne pepper. That's right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you remember. Oh. Oh, that's so good. The best way to describe the filling is like almost gravy-like, but it's just very viscous and umami and delicious. And the pepper mm -hmm. really comes through. I think this this transcends umami. This is straight up Udaddy right here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm very surprised I've never heard that joke before. <laughs> that was a great joke. It's a wonderful joke. We a, all loved the that joke. That was an incredible joke. <laughs> a plus joke. If what? you like that joke, why don't you leave us a comment down, down under. Okay, the final Keith's pie we'll be having is the chicken Thai green curry pie. Oh, oh yeah. so beautiful. I'm gonna watch you, Keith. Why are you trying to? Why are you trying to? Why are you trying to do, do me like that? I cannot convey to you like the heft factor. I just can't believe it's not just spewing out. Oh, it's so good! It's hot and it's spicy. It's got a nice kick to oh, it. Oh, it's kicking me! Again, I'm so impressed by the integration of Asian flavors that are very authentic into something that we don't have in Asia. Wow, it's that key. It's that good that you're going back in for more, even though it's hurting you. Mm -hmm. uh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> the best way to describe this one is like. Um, <laughs> Uh, this is a lot like a chicken pot pie, the mm -hmm. consistency, but mm -hmm. very spicy. Mm -hmm. I was doing what Thai restaurants do, which is making my temples and forehead sweat. Wow, these were so excellent. <sighs> amazing. Keith, your pies were amazing. Great Thank pies, you so Keith. much. I, guys, I think I have a future here, you know? It's called Keith's Pies. It, it's gotta be a sign. What? There's the sign. There it is. Papa Keith, I would love it so much if I could just stay here forever with you. You and I, side by side, making pies, slinging dough. Okay. <laughs> He's in. A thrilling endorsement. <laughs> okay. We have one more place we have to go. We have to go to a steakhouse, because I don't think we've had just enough meat <laughs> yet. My name's Adam. I'm the venue manager of the Mita Wine Co. restaurant. Hi, hi, hi. So we're gonna be eating meats here. What sort of meats are unique to Australia? Well, I think we can think of one specifically unique one, which is kangaroo. Oh. Kangaroo is actually not very commonly eaten, but you can find it in restaurants, you can find it in supermarkets. And it's cool to eat kangaroos. It's not like eating a bald eagle. It's totally cool to eat kangaroos. Some people don't like eating kangaroos, but I would understand that if it's the same reason if you don't like eating meat anyway. Kangaroos are super abundant here, right? Right, 100%. Like, even a pest. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So we'd be doing everyone a favor. If you want to say it like that, 100%, <laughs> yeah. Australia's got a lot of space. It's like as big as the US with a tenth of the population. Whoa. So it means that they've got a lot of room for farming, right? So beef is really, really popular in Australia. But we've got our dry aging cabinet downstairs. We're gonna do a dry aged ribeye on the bone, and we're gonna do a dry aged New Yorker, which is like strip loin. After that, we're gonna get into the Wagyu. So we're gonna have a Wagyu ribeye, and we're gonna do a Wagyu fill eye fillet as well. What do you think about Outback Steakhouse? I haven't been. Oh my god, you oh, gotta go. The Bloomin' Onion. Yes. You guys have Bloomin' Onions, <laughs> no, right? No. Outback Steakhouse is kind of like how, how Pan Express is for Chinese food. Yeah, super authentic, very delicious. Uh -huh. And do you put shrimp on the barbie? We do. No further questions. <laughs> <laughs> First course today is the Wagyu Tata. Oh, oh so yes. Wagyu Tata, smoked egg yolk, garlic crostini, green dressing. I love steak tartare. I know it's scary for those who haven't had it, but if you go to a nice place that has it, you should have it. It's just like my mom says, you just gotta try it raw. Mm -hmm. That's what mom says. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. It's got a Ooh. nice, like, Ooh. spicy herbal kick to it. Mm -hmm. It looks like a burger patty, but then you taste it and it's kind of like creamy. This is really the, the final mark, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. You get to medium rare, rare, and then you embrace tartare. It's strange to eat 
basically a mouthful of red meat, but really taste the greens and spices that are lightly infused in it. It's really tremendous. Yeah, the seasoning on this tartare is excellent. I just want to take get a big old bathtub of, of tartare and soak my body in it and then slowly eat my way out. I want to eat Zach's bathtub full of tartare. <laughs> Our second course, we're gonna be doing a full rack of pork ribs. They're called dinosaur ribs, just because of the size of the bones and where we get them from on the animal. So you don't have dinosaur in Australia. Is that an Australian thing? Beg your pardon? Because kangaroos kind of look like uh, raptors. I, right. I, there's a lot of empty space here. I don't know what's going on. Ah, holy God. Whoa! Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> so we got the full rack of pork ribs. I'll put it in the middle. Goo! <laughs> These are the dinosaur ribs. These are the dinosaur ribs. Well, what you kind of kidding? pigs do you have? <laughs> We've got the full rack of pork ribs, like I mentioned. We're going to serve that with lamb shanks. Lamb shanks are very popular, and lamb in general in, in Australia. Question, do you just say we're going to have a full rack of pork ribs with lamb on the side? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, it's a huge yeah, rib. Yeah, it's big. big. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Daddy. Son. I'm just going in with my I'm fingers. I'm going in with my fingers. Yeah, what are you doing? Mm, oh, wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Mm. And they're huge. Yeah, they're so holy sheer, oh. whoa. Holy sheer, whoa. It's like dripping, dripping off the bone. The sauce is excellent. Mm -hmm. It's a little tangy, a little sweet. It's very light. Mm -hmm. It's really letting the pork flavor shine as well. It's sweeter than our like Kansas City type sauces in America. It's one of the best ribs I've ever had in my life, hands down. Tell me about Barbie culture. We've got good meat. Why not cook it outside on a Barbie? And for people that don't know what that slang is, what's, yeah, what's we're that? We're not talking about a doll. We're talking about a char grill. Do you also have the doll? We have the doll. Do you call little grills skippers? <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> Moving from pork to lamb. From turf to turf. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, Australia. Wow. Cheers. 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 Mm. Wow. Yeah, it has like the flavor almost of like a prime rib. It, wow. We're not exaggerating. The lamb is incredible I've, in Australia. I've never had lamb this delicious. Yeah. You can just spin the meat right <laughs> off like spaghetti. <laughs> so rich and densely flavorful and so fatty on the skin side. It is unbelievable. Oh, oh and the mashed potatoes. <laughs> me to death. Oh, just <laughs> me to death. Uh. Um, <laughs> Detective, how did this man die? He well, was, he was uh, <laughs> to death by mashed potatoes. <laughs> by mashed potatoes, you don't say. Yeah. They've been going around lately. After that, we're going to get into the Wagyu. So we're going to have a Wagyu ribeye, and we're going to do a Wagyu eye fillet as well. And you, you guys call it fillet, right? We do call it fillet. We call it fillet. I wonder why. It's language. Both of these are seven plus marble score. What does that mean? Marble, marble score? score? Marble score is like fat content within the steak. It's like fat when it's on the grill, it's heated up, it really melts down and becomes like butter inside the meat. Kisses, kisses, let me kiss your beef. Mmm, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is the gold standard of steak right there. Mm. This is all I've ever wanted. Oh. Can we just make this one video forever? I want to tell you, I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. There's love all around me. That mushroom pepper sauce is bonkers good. And it's cool that it's Wagyu that's grown in Australia. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the onion. Mm, that flavor's blooming. Mm -hmm. It does remind me of something. <laughs> it reminds me of something. These are the dry aged steaks. These are full-on flavor town. Oh, yeah. So dry aging, it, I think, is best described as like an active decomposition of meat, right? Wow. We've got a dry aging fridge downstairs with a salt block underneath, humidifier, so we've got controlled humidity and controlled temperatures. So what's happening to that meat, the enzymes are breaking down, but it's got bone on one side and fat on the other side, which really keeps all the, the moisture inside the cut really, really well. But what you're talking about is real beefy type flavors. That's the best way to describe it. You're gonna find out. Are we in Flavortown now? We are entering Flavortown. Do Australians know who Guy Fieri is? Um, I don't know. Should I know? Maybe that does, I don't want to speak for oh, all Oh, he's the greatest American celebrity. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, our, he's like, you, you have Chris Hemsworth, we have Guy Fieri. Yeah. Uh, it's perfect <laughs> representations of our nations. Chris Hemsworth or Liam Hemsworth? Uh, Thor. 
Hell yeah. Yeah. The, the only right. correct answer. Yeah. Yeah. He came. To here? Recently, yeah. What did Thor order? <laughs> I think he actually had dry edge. I think you're gonna eat what Thor had as well. Yes. You might as well call that the Thorder. Wow. This is rib the bone-in ribeye dry aged for eight weeks. <laughs> oh my oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Holy cow. 56 days of flavor. Whoa. It's almost woodsy. Mm -hmm. It tastes almost mushroomy. Mm -hmm. There's a certain uh, fungal, like, nature. fungal, like yeah. slightly aged, old feeling like to it a, in the mouth. It's really delicious. tanginess. Mm -hmm. You know when you're a child and you have like a cheap T-bone steak and then you're done with the meat and you just start chewing on the bone to get the littlest bits of meat that are left off of it? <gasps> this is like that, but you can actually chew it. Enough with these dry aged steaks. Let us taste the animal that is only here in Australia. Do you have room for more? <laughs> we are aware that, that Lord of the Rings is from New Zealand and not from Australia, we're but we're, like, we're close. We're as close as we can like This is the closest we can come. Excuse me, guys. I have the kangaroo skewers. Oh, oh kangaroo. To... Kangaroo, uh, it's red meat? Great. I, I didn't know, you cut them up. I don't know what's inside that thing. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite as flexible as beef. So beef, you can have a nice well done, you can have a nice rare, you can have a nice blue. Kangaroo, you can have medium rare. And that's how we're gonna be cooking it today. Uh, before we dive in, we should state the obvious. We, we did meet kangaroo on this trip. They were adorable. Uh, but they're also a very abundant species here. Uh, you know, they're overpopulated and you gotta eat some meat and... You made me think about them. Sorry. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. We actually have heard that the Australian government encourages people to eat kangaroo because it's so sustainable, so we're doing the country a favor. You're welcome, Australia. Wow, oh, that's very good. Oh, it's oh. so luxurious, actually. I thought it would be gamey or like deer. Mm -hmm. It's not gamey at all. No. Deer. Oh, it's so flavorful. Mm -hmm. But the texture is actually very soft and tender. It's great. It's, there's like an earthy grassiness to it. Kind of reminds me of a, a short rib, and then it has sort of a, a fall apart stringy nature with its tenderness, but it, it chews a little bit more like a steak. If you didn't know it was kangaroo, I'd be convinced it was just really good beef. Yeah, which is crazy because when you see those kangaroos, they're muscular. Some of those males look like they could fuck you up. Yeah, they're hot. That's, that's what I meant. <laughs> They're hot. <sighs> well, I'm uncomfortably full. <laughs> well, good thing there's only the biggest steak left. Okay, guys, the last course, the tomahawk. <laughs> <laughs> a toast to Australia, a land of wonderful meats, amazing seafoods. And pies. And made of meat. Pies. I just feel like we are so lucky. We get to experience so many wonderful things, and I think this is why you should travel internationally to experience the, the cultures of other people. And really, one of the best ways to do it is through food. I certainly like how every place we've gone to, the chefs have essentially cited diversity as a huge proponent to why Australia is great. And turns out, kangaroo's pretty delicious. I feel like we're all in a big bed of meat. <laughs> and we've pulled the covers up to our necks. And as we whisk ourselves away, our dreams are brought to us by Australia. Ah. <sighs> Fuck Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> yeah. Don't you go to Outback Steakhouse every anniversary? I love with Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you choose to put like weird surprises in some, like um, oh, no, popcorn, no. crickets. No. <laughs> Someone like comes up to complain, you're like, oh, you won! Actually, Keith's pies, they're the one with the surprise pies. <gasps> surprise! Keith, make, make the pies. pies. Okay, 